Last week, I got the opportunity to talk with Mr. Gomez for the celebration deferred story about the 2020 national champion, Metman Pirates. For those of you who want to watch that whole interview, here's the entire interview, uncut and unedited. There. All right. Um, so I'm just going to uh, ask you a couple questions based off the uh, hit line competition and yep. you know, how they're days away from a global pandemic. Yeah. Um, so to start off, you know, they never won a national championship before. And from a pin uh, principal standpoint, how does that feel? Well, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but I was actually there when they were, when they were announced. And uh, they've worked so hard year after year. And to see them win that uh, championship was outstanding. You know, I was standing alongside all the parents. Um, and once their name was announced, uh, the energy was beyond tremendous. It's just absolutely unbelievable. And as a principal, I think it were, I, I, I felt like a proud dad, brother, uncle, you name it. I was so, so impressed. And they, they won with so much grace, with so much poise. And I, I, I couldn't even be more proud. Cool, cool. Um, the last time the team competed in kick was in 2013. The last time they made finals in the kick category at the Nationals was 2011. What do you think they did, you know, to be able to pull this off? Well, you know, I used to see them uh, day after day practicing in our East Cafeteria, sometimes in our large gym. And the dedication and the countless hours that they spent practicing really paid off. You know, they – they got creative with the choreography. They, um, the music was very original, very unique. You know, even after the first uh, preliminary competition, you know, as we were walking away from the, um, from, from the conference arena that we were in, you had teams from other states and uh, coaches from other uh, states uh, applauding what Mepham was doing because it was, it was definitely unique. It was different. It was heartfelt. Like you saw the emotion in their faces as they were performing. And I think that's really what made a difference. You know, what do you think and, like, how do you think the captains pulled it out and, like, you know, everyone just coming together? You know, what do you think they did to be able to pull it off from that standpoint of the actual people, like, you know, that are competing in this and, you know, doing all that they can? I think uh, from Coach Dennis to the captains, they promote cohesiveness. You know, they really encourage teamwork here. There's no one on kick line that just works for themselves. They know that the hard work that they individually put in will achieve the success for the entire team. And you saw that on stage, not even, not only with the kick competition, but also with the palm and all the other competitive events that they were a part of. They, they know that each of them has to work so hard to come together and look as great as they did. And the fantastic thing about the kick competition is that that, that that particular category involved the entire team, not just parts of the team like Palm or other events. And uh, to see that they were able to pull it off as one and look as great as they did, they were perfectly in sync. It just says a lot about, again, the, the amount of practice and the amount of uh, cohesiveness that they have as a team. Perfect. Um, so switching gears a little to now, we'll, you know, we're, we're living through the global pandemic. Um, the coronavirus was just entering the U.S. at this point. Did you have any worries or fear about, you know, you said you were there about, you know, going from Florida to, to New York when this, you know, global pandemic is going around. Mm -hmm. Well, initially, you know, at first we, we went, you know, obviously we went to Florida, not right. thinking that any of this would happen. You know, we came back obviously celebrating and applauding kick line success. And literally a week later we closed schools. And um, I have to say that there were concerns, obviously, because we were in a large hotel convention arena with so many other teams from so many other states, you know, um, very crowded. But, you know, luckily, I say luckily because I really mean that none of the girls got sick, none of, uh, none of the teachers got sick, and we are very grateful that we were able to get that in right before we left. If Nationals was a week later, we probably would not be able to have gone and uh, missed out on the opportunity. But obviously, health and safety come first. So... You know, it's, uh, it's, you know, I saw some of the parents yesterday during our car parade and some of our uh, ladies uh, driving through, and it feels like yesterday that we were there celebrating in Florida, and um, yet it was two months away, two months ago. Right. Um, so to end off, you know, adding mm -hmm. on that, days away from, you know, when the world shut down, Pirates overcame their goal. Do you think this global pandemic could have, could have played an impact, and why? Um, to be honest, when they were competing, I don't think they were even thinking of the pandemic. They were so focused about competing and, um, yeah. yeah, you know, and obviously you want to win. That's, that's, that's the goal in any competition, but I think above and beyond anything else, they went in there so focused and so poised that 
they said, look, you know, I, I overheard them talking to one another. Even if we don't win, we got to this point and we did our best. And right. I think that's what, uh, what really mattered. And, you know, I, I wear the kick line shirt here with so much pride because it's, it's, it indicates how much, yeah, they were just, you know, they even won the sportsmanship award, which is only given to teams that show that grace, that poise, that respect towards uh, the NDA organizers who are, you know, who, who look for teams who are not, you know, there just to win. They're there to experience it all. And I think our ladies represented that so well. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you a lot. No problem. Have a good weekend. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.